Spooky! The V-Twin has become a skeleton for Halloween! This is my best attempt at making the bare minimum movable print-in-place V-Twin engine. Now, last video I showed you guys the V-Twin, it was pretty well received, but I thought, hmm, for Halloween we should do something spooky. And what's more spooky than a difficult print that looks like a skeleton? And since it's Halloween, it's the one day of the year where you can go ahead and say, oh, that's stringy print? No, 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 that's actually cobwebs. I meant to do that. This is the same engine that you saw in my previous video, but everywhere where I could remove material, I did. And to make this video a little bit more interesting, I introduced a new feature where the supports are designed to break away. Yes, well, usually a printing place thing would not require supports. However, I felt it ruined the aesthetic, so I actually did put the support that breaks away. This was achieved by simply making a very thin point where it was supposed to break. I know a lot of people are really interested in seeing the V8. However, you cannot simply take a V-twin and just copy it four times, because you will run into a lot of issues. It turns out I have to redesign the whole thing from the ground up to avoid making the whole thing an eight hour long print and also to make it easy to, you know, break loose and make it work. I already created a one cylinder version that I'm almost done with. Like there are a few more things I need to tweak, but this will be a really cool print. Less than an hour and very small, like you can use it as a keychain. It will be released in my next video. Uh, for now, it's just up on Patreon as the ass is right now. Um, if you want to try it, you can go and download it there. Otherwise, see you guys later.